Everybody, welcome back to Walls of CCLB4. We are on level 129, Sokoban Adventure. I have taken a break for a few hours from the game, and now I'm back. Now I'm ready for some, well, some challenge here, because I'm assuming this is going to be pretty hard. We had a Sokoban pretty recently, and it was tough. And this has a time limit of 999, I think it's the Walls of One Tank's Adventure. So let's take a look around here. I don't know if we were supposed to go in here first or go up there. Yeah, this is definitely one tank's adventure. Looks like it didn't really matter much. Uh, but yeah, we've got a lot of things to do. And this appears to be pretty non-linear. Looks like there's different rooms in which to push the blocks. So yeah, uh, this is a thing. There's seven here. All right, let, let, let's just start with one of these. Let's just see. It looks like this is going to be a nail kind of challenge, so let's go ahead and just line all these guys up. I don't know um, what the difficulty spectrum we're talking about here is. This one seems pretty simple, but that could easily change for some of these, so... Uh, I say it seems pretty simple, but we've already got a... Okay, that's that's not hard. Okay. Can never be too careful, you know? I feel like that's been kind of a constant refrain in this Let's Play, and yet I am too careful, and then that ends up coming back to bite me in the butt sometimes. Alright, so that is one Sokoban done! Yes! Alright. And we've got another one here. Oh hey, there's a there's a tank that's being moving moved around. So I take it we're supposed to get this all seems to be pretty connected, so let's try to take advantage of that. I'm gonna move that there. And I think one thing that we need to do is we need to push that down there. So we can actually get some head progress made here on this part. So the one obstacle I'm noticing here is that this top part looks like it could potentially have some issues when it comes to this... Uh... Oh wait, we can't push a block on the space to the left of that fourth trap button, can we? All right. Let's try to make the most of this. I'm gonna go. Let me go over here again and do that, and then that maybe. So that way I can go. I don't want to go down again because then that's gonna pretty much. Wait, no, that that's fine. That's fine. Okay, good. Let's do that. That way I can actually go ahead and come from this direction. And I should be able to get the rest of those in place. All right. <laughs> that sound. All right, so that should allow us to go in there. Oh boy, we got a lot to do. We have a lot to do. Do I want to go down that slide? I don't know. There is so much going on here. It's crazy. All right. Should we do this one? I feel like I'm trying to see if doing some of these is going to impede our ability to do other things, but I'm not seeing anything particularly nasty here. So it looks like this one's a sardine can kind of thing with four blocks? Is it four block sardine can? I think it is. <coughs> I'm kind of hesitant to just push things into corners because I know that that could be that could be wrong in some cases, but I think this is safe. Okay. So if I were to push this, oh, I see. 
We can't do that because then this is going to be closed off. So that's not going to work. I see now. Oh, wait. No, we can because we can go over here. This is not a nail in that case. So I think it's fine. Let's give it a shot. Won't get anywhere unless you take a few risks in life, right? All right. I think this is fine. Maybe. <laughs> kind of hard to tell sometimes, but I think this is fine. Yeah, okay. Whew! Every time I get past one of these, I breathe a sigh of relief. Like, okay, what's <laughs> what's the next one going to be like, you know? All right, so this was the room where the fireball cloner was, wasn't it, in the original? It's fun to kind of predict what you're going to have to face by virtue of looking around and going, oh yeah, that's that room, and that's that room. And Okay, so we can see what we're having to deal with here. And it looks like a long vertical mass of bombs. I don't know if there's another column from which we could actually... Which way does this clone? I'm a little concerned. Is it cloned down? Oh, right, okay. Right is fine. I was like, if it clones... To the, if it clones up, that's that would be a major issue. All right, let's go ahead and get all these keys. I'm a little concerned about the time limit here. I'm, I'm surprised this is not an untimed level. I feel like this would be a prime candidate for that, and yet it's not. There's so much stuff going on here, and maybe it's just looks. Maybe it just looks a little overwhelming, and perhaps it's not really all that bad. But the amount of it is certainly, like, whoa. Okay, so the thing on the left side is being taken up by a bunch of blocks and possibly mechanism-related stuff, if there's, like, cloning going on there. Wait, did that exist before? I can't even remember. As long as we don't have a limit on how much we can clone here, then I'm fine with it. Whatever the level throws at us in this room. I don't think there is, because usually Jeffrey would use, like, a tank for that, and we haven't seen any tanks, so. I'm curious to know if the sockets are just there to be walls, like, acting walls, or... Does that clone a glider? I'm a little worried about this. <laughs> Not gonna lie, but I feel like we should do this sooner than later. I'm going to have to double up on... Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, if that actually involved... Whoops. Cloning multiple copies of the blocks, and that would be really evil. Okay, so we got that. Alright, so we got most of this bottom area done. That's a relief. What is going on up here? We've got... This kind of reminds me of Mix-Up, the Sokuban and Mix-Up. I'm seeing bom a bomb here. I'm not sure how we would get rid of that. Oh, wait, I see. There's a hole through there. Let's just push things that we know we can push. All right. Um, I'm a little worried about this. It's kind of my another one of my recurring mottos for this Let's Play. Alright, I can keep that one block down by the other one. That shouldn't hurt anything, right? I, I don't think that will hurt anything. Alright, from here we can pretty easily solve the rest of this. This is not so bad. Can we actually get this on our first try? That would be amazing if somehow that happened. I doubt it's going to happen, but you never know. Alright, so from here... I can get this and place it over here. Good. Alright, so now 
It's just a matter of getting over this way. I feel like this level has a lot more constraints in the way these things are constructed other than putting sockets in there um, than maybe a, a level like uh, Brown Notes did. Because in that one, I really want to know more about what I'm doing before I do that. In Brown Notes, I feel like that level had a lot more in the way of freedom since you were using all that outside space. Whereas this one, not so much. All right, it looks like we can come around from here if we push to the edge, but not so with this. Although we could come around from that end if we... I'm assuming we can, maybe not. Hmm. I'm foreseeing that we're going to probably put a block up there. The question is, what to do with the other ones? Because putting a block there, that's... Oof. That's going to be interesting. Let's come back to that one. Oh, it's a spin thing. Oh, I see. Okay. So we have to sidestep off this. To get it? Is that, that the game? Also, is there, are there more than... There are more than two chips left to get. So you just choose what you're... Oh, okay, so maybe this is... I guess maybe the title is not only a reference to one tank's adventure, maybe it's like a reference to choose your own adventure things. Is that what this is all about? I would be interested in finding that out. I'm sure the developer commentary on Pie Guy's site will reveal more about that. So that gives me a little bit of hope. I don't actually have to do this perfectly. So let's figure this out. How, what is the best way to get these blocks through here? First of all, the number we need is seven. And how many blocks are there here? We've got seven, 13. We can get to the block that's right. No, that's not gonna quite get us home free, but it's gonna get us close. I don't think that was enough. I don't think that was enough. But wait, we, we held all these down. That's right, I forgot about that. Yeah, I think we would have needed to come up with a different approach for this. This would be an interesting one. I mean, it would require a lot of wiring, but in CC2 I could see this being a lot of fun. To um, maybe have bonus flags for... Uh, completing everything or whatever. All right, so no point in doing that, I guess. We did all the Sokobons we needed to do, I'm assuming. So do we just go through here? Ah, oh. The most secret of hints, Walls from One Tank's Adventure. Cool, all right, so that was fun. I thoroughly enjoyed that, I mean, it was, it was good in that I, I appreciated that there were different options, that you didn't really have to do all of them. I also like that this room was a thing, even though you didn't really have to do it. Terrace Village. After pressing the trap button, both traps will be opened, and the walls will toggle. Walls from Ice Cavern. So this must be the lower right room of Ice Cavern. Uh, is it the? It's a trap button. Okay, I'm assuming it's that trap button up there. So yeah, this is this is gonna be fun. Let's see what we can do with this. This looks like Prison Lane Part Two. All right, so I I'm definitely seeing some Sokoban fun here. See, I would need to get down there to use that, get that uh, block, so don't think that's happening right now. Both traps will open. Whoa! Okay, I didn't realize that that was there. <laughs> okay, so we got past that room. That's good. And we've got a teeth to deal with here. 
Oh boy. Okay, hang on. I really want to get the teeth trapped on that side. But maybe that's not really necessary. Let's see what happens if we do that for now. Okay, that's... Ah, that's not what I wanted. This is like Morton on steroids. Alright, let's just get rid of the dirt. I don't care. The blocks really do help the dodging here, though. Uh-oh. Alright, I need to move that block up one space. Okay, there we go. That's what I needed. And how am I supposed to get him in there? There's not a way back, is there? Oh, there's a block down here. Okay. That makes me feel a little bit better. My goodness, this is some tricky dodging there. Alright, so you're going to have to be chasing me over here, apparently. This is definitely very different than what Josh did with this level in uh, Fuego Ironworks. But I like that. I like seeing different takes on things. It's really nice. Oop, another Sokoban. Oh boy. We're going to have to open this up. I don't want the teeth around. Oh, wait. There's block... Oh, I didn't know there's traps up there. Can I get you somewhere else? Ah! No! <laughs> okay. Okay. You win, teeth. But this time, there will be no escape for you. All right. We need to figure out a different way to do that. Does the hint say anything else? Those traps open the walls will toggle. So how long do the walls toggle? What determines that? Is it just one toggling? I, I miss that. What stops that? I, I don't see anything here, so I, I'm not sure. All right, let's try to be a little bit more elegant about the way we do this. There we go. That's what I wanted to do the whole time. Okay. This is the tricky part now when this condition happens. Alright, I feel like I should just go ahead and do this. Ah! Pff, I realized too late that I had actually had the correct toggle configuration there. Or, the not toggle, um, teeth parity. This is a lot harder than I was expecting for a level based on Ice Cavern. Amazing what you can do with a set of walls. It's, it really is. That ended up working out pretty well. Alright, I don't know what stops that toggling from happening. Alright, let's do this uh, routine again.
All right, come over here. There we go. Is that really the intended solution? Because, man, that's pretty tight. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. But I wasted a move last time, not realizing I had wasted it. And then all that happened. All right. So there's no way to completely get rid of this guy, huh? That is a real shame. Hmm. So I guess there's a limited amount of toggles. I'm assuming it's based on this thing on the outer edges that I'm seeing here. Maybe there's a way to get the teeth to like hide out in one of these little alcoves or something. Let's see if we can work on that. Let's see, can I get you to go over here? Come on, close it. There you go. Ah, you thought. You thought. Oh, wait a minute. Now I have to press it again. Okay, never mind. I can do that. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Okay. So two of these need to go here. And then the others we can... Wait. What? How? How do I get four... Am I supposed to get the teeth in there? Are you serious? I'm supposed to get the teeth in there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I'm definitely going to have to restart that, because there's no way the teeth is going to hold up there. Oh, man. That's going to be a thing. I'm actually going to have to get the teeth to stay up there. Holy potatoes, man. That's, that's going to be insane. I, I don't know how we're going to pull that off. All right. So it seems like teeth dodging and manipulation is pretty much the theme of the day here. This level is uh, quite a thing. It's definitely quite a thing. I wasn't expecting this, but I mean, it's level 130 amidst a really tough set, and uh, it's a pretty well deserved difficulty. Gotta be honest. And yet, I feel like, I still feel like this is not cheap, you know? And I'm thankful for that. I'm really thankful for that. It feels properly difficult. Okay. Come down here. All right. So you need to chill out. And go here. Stay here for a little bit while I figure this out. I need to figure out a way to get this Sokoban to accommodate the teeth. That's going to be an interesting challenge. I, f I don't see how you can do it. Unless you get them trapped in the middle button. Even that's doubtful. Like, I... Oops. No, 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 no. Let's get you in here, and then we'll figure out a way back. All right, come up here. There we go. Why is the thing going again? Uh-oh. That may have been a bad idea, having the toggles in that parody. Or maybe not. Hang on. I got an idea. There we go. Woo! Okay. Alright, so... Which button is this teeth going to be on? That's what we need to figure out. So let's imagine blocks are in all of these. Block here, block here, block here. He's not going to stay there. Block here, block here, block here. Not going to stay there. He's not going to stay there. So it almost seems like we actually do have to trap him in there. Is that for real? Wow.
Okay. This just got a lot more interesting. I think we're going to have to do... We're going to... We really are going to have to put them either in the middle or... I don't know. Let's let's just try this. Let's just see how this goes. I'm going to try to see if he can get into this little construction that we built here. And that didn't quite work out. Alright, let's try this again. This time hopefully with a little less fail. Alright, I'm going to try to get him more toward the right side here. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. I mean, maybe what I need to do is I need to get... No, because he's always going to face me, so I... Let's, let's get him trapped again. Oh, pfft, I did not mean to do that. I miscounted. Okay. Thankfully, that little trick works, so that's good. All right, so if I move these up one, will that help in any way? Because if he comes down here, it's just a matter of pushing that off to the left, but I'm not sure that that's really, that's really going to work. Because he's just going to be sitting there, and I don't know how you're supposed to do this. This feels impossible. Well, unless we do something like this where he comes down. You know, I think that might have to be it. All right, let's try this out. Let's get him over here again. There we go. Wow, that is quite a challenge. I can't say I've ever done that before. Okay, so first of all, what is this? Is this a, a monster manipulation deal? I'm a little worried about this. Like, what's, what's going on here? Hmm... I'm assuming I have to go through that trap at some point, so... Let's see, where does this start? He's going to start there. He's going to go around there. Okay, let's move him over there. So now he's going to go this way. Actually, we could just shorten the trip and make it there. So, first of all, do I absolutely need all these blocks? And I think the answer is no. I'm pretty sure the answer is no. I do need to get up there, though, but if I can just trap the fireball in one of those little spots, I think we'll be okay. Let's see how this works out. There we go. All right. There's a bunch of button pressing going on right now, so that's fun. So this was the opening area of Ice Cavern right here. So there's a green door path that way. Where, oh, here's a yellow key right, yellow door right here. Okay. So what's the game over here? I noticed there's a bunch of blocks. There's keys under them, I guess. Some of them. There's another one. Okay, there we go. There's four keys. So now we can get a green key and go back through here. I know there's a green door here. Also, wasn't there a green door over here? There is. Okay. I don't know if we're supposed to keep the fireball alive or not, but I'm just seeing what's going on. Oh boy. That looks intimidating. Okay. Not sure how I feel about the toggles there being uh, closed, so let me 
go and open them again just in case. I think we can open them again, right? Yeah, there's the switch right there. I like the fact that these rooms are relatively empty just because of all the stuff we've been through already. I mean, if you really think about it. Alright, because it seems like this is the end. There's, there's the exit right there behind a yellow door, and that I would like to think that's the end. Oh wait, we could have gone back. Okay, never mind. I thought that there was no way back. My bad. Wait, that was the room we went through earlier, right? The one with the... It was! Okay, so it wasn't really empty. That's clever. I like the fact that you have to cross through that again. That's cool. You know I'm a sucker for levels that do that. Alright, so that was Terrace Village. That was a really tricky monster dodging level and block pushing level. Really well done, though, and I really enjoyed that. I-H-Y-H. That's yet another password that looks familiar. Way, way, way after the eruption. I think we have time for another one, so let's see if we can... What is this level? Uh... It has a bunch of... Oh, this is a World of a Thousand Flames. Ah, okay. Alright, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. I don't know if there's any teleports or anything. So I'm kind of wondering how this is going to go down. And I, Yeah, we just completely ruined that. I'm wondering if maybe we should wait until after <laughs> this video but to do this one. But I kind of want to try this out. This looks really... Uh, I'm impressed by Jeffrey's ability to take levels that were really crowded, like repair the automatic caution doors, and this level, and then make them into something that has only a few tiles and manages to be a big challenge. Like, that to me is really impressive. And I don't really want to get stuck there. Oh, so this is the end. So we, we don't want to go down there until the end is what I'm getting out of that. Gotcha. Okay. Well, in that case, since that's not going to happen for a little while yet, let's uh, let's just do this. I can see this is going to be an interesting one to plot a route out for, because the way there's a lot of irregularity to these walls. And I see this is already a problem here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I know that this is doable. It's just a matter of how and... Wait, did I just mess that up too? No, no I didn't. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just get these for now, just to make sure I did my due diligence on those. So the problem is I need to get that first. So let's... I think what we were doing earlier was actually fine. Let's, let's stick with that, because that seems to be what you have to do. And instead... Wait a minute... This is the only way into this area, so I'm a little concerned about... I feel like we have to work backwards here. We, we kind of have to just plot out a route. That leaves the end open. So, I think what we're doing right now has to be done at the end. Like, we have to do all this stuff toward the end. Yeah. So that's quite a chunk of chips there, so let's save that for the end. And for now, we'll not do that. We'll do something else. Can we... We have to go here if we were to choose that path. So presumably we'll come back to that side later. So let's focus on something else.
So that's a dead end. We can't go there any further. This, though, we can do stuff with. Oh, except not. Man, I... I don't know how you're supposed to handle this. This looks... Like... First of all, are there actually 200 ships here? That's what I'm curious to know. Are there really 200? Or are there more ships and there's actually extras? Because if there's extras, then that kind of changes the name of the game a little bit here. See, by doing this, I'm confining myself... You know what I should do? I should read that hint, just to be on the safe side. Because if the hint says there's extra ships, that kind of changes the ball game. It's best solved as a pen and paper puzzle. You know what? I am going to try to solve it without one. And maybe that's a terrible idea. I don't know. But... So what I'm thinking here is that for this first part, Going down here, hmm. see, we're forced to do that. So I'm wondering if going down there is actually not the right option. The problem is, is that this whole section is kind of contingent on it. So we can't go right. See, if I go here, I have to go down. Like, there's no option, because now that room is blocked off if I didn't go down. The same thing goes with this, and coming over here. I mean, there's no way I could be able to get through all that unless I do it like this. I guess what I'm just trying to figure out is... Is there another way out? And from here, there really isn't. I just need to get past this first part. I feel like if I can get past this first part, the rest of the level is going to at least be a little less tough. Maybe what I need to do is go in reverse from this. Let's, let's try it. That's the only way I can see this working. You have to go here and then here, and then here, and then there. There we go. Okay. That's a lot more sensible. All right. I'm pretty sure those are the first moves you absolutely must take. Like, I can't see it working out any other way. All right, so we're back here now, and I'm pretty sure that we, we have to do that last. So let's try to go to the left side a little bit more this next attempt. But yeah, this salt, this actually answers a lot of questions, so as long as I can run with this, the rest of the level will hopefully be a little easier to crack. Hopefully. Little things like that where you feel like you're forced to go through something a certain way, that does help a bit. I'm going to go here because this feels like the next logical spot as well as here. All right, so then next up is this. I could save this for later and get away with it, but I kind of want to do it right now. All right, we're down to 128, so that's good news, I think. Oh. Oh, wait, good. There is, an <laughs> there is a way out. I was getting a little concerned there. All right, so we have a bunch of non-recessed wall passages here, which is always nice. Alright, I think what we just did up there was a good thing. I think that was a good option. Okay, that's also a good option. That's good. Okay, that was a good option as well. Let's go up here. This feels good. Let's do this. I don't know if that was right or not. I feel like we crossed over here a little too quickly. But wait, this is not the far right side yet, is it? Oh, we could have gone down there. Mm. 
No, it is the far right side. Okay. I think we were really close with this attempt. I'm gonna be honest, I think we were. Because we could have just gone that, get that, and then do this stuff here. So it was just a matter of two rooms that we missed. Okay. We, we were really close to this, guys. I think we were really close to this. So as long as we can keep what we did, like we, we got the skeleton of the route in place. It's just that last little bit there where we missed some stuff. I think we got this. I honestly do. I think this is totally doable. And honestly, this is a fun level to figure out, in my opinion, at least. So was this what we missed? Ish? Partially, I think. Alright, that's obtainable, but not from there. Okay. I feel like we're deviating from what we did before, but maybe that's not a bad thing. A lot of the stuff on that left side feels very straightforward once you get a start on this right side. It seems that way, at least. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like it's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh. Oh no, that's a bad idea because I'm sectioning that off, aren't I? All right, so that whole approach was wrong. Let's scrap that. Scrap that. Let's just start over. We were eight ships short, which means we were two only two rooms away from getting this. So. As long as I remember that, it's like, hey, we were that close, you know, the whole thing becomes so much less uh, of a burden. And yeah, we really do need to go here. <laughs> There's no way really around that. We, we really do need to go there. So let's go here. Okay, so I think this was the, the start of the route that we were taking before this whole thing we're doing right now. Okay, yeah, this is definitely what we did before. Because I remember we were panicking right there, and we were like, oh, oh, oh nope, nope, it's, a, it's all good. All good in the hood. So this area here, I just have to remember to go down and get everything. So let's cross up this way. And then, yeah, that was a smart play. Good, okay, so that's good. Was it this that we missed? Oh no, we, we totally messed this up. <laughs> We've, we should have gone there first. Man, okay. I, I, I feel good, guys. I feel really good about this. I, I don't need a pen and paper, pencil and paper. This is, this is completely doable just by thinking about it and using logical deduction. All right, because everything you're doing here, to a certain degree, if you can backtrack out of it what you would need to do later, you can pretty much plot out the complete path. It's totally doable. <laughs> I love the sound of collecting chips. Okay, so from here, we go from the top. Got to remember that. There we go. And we go down here first, yes. Okay, good. So that worked out. We just need to make sure we get down there and get our stuff there. How do we ensure that we get our stuff from there? Oh, wait a minute. I just realized something. Hang on. Was this what we didn't do before? We didn't go this way? Huh. What are we missing with those two rooms up there? Let me just make sure I'm verifying that these are the correct ones, too. I 
I think they are these two. I forgot which ones these are. I honestly did. Look, because this may affect what we do at the beginning. It really could. Like, everything else in this route seems solid. It's just that part. So we're getting all of these. Those are fine. So is it that that we're missing? I think in part it is. Because we're coming down from one of... The, you know what? Let's, let's go back to where we were earlier and see if we can just deduce it from there. It's it's awkward because we're we're making these walls appear and let me get that out of the way. We're making those these walls appear and it kind of messes with your perception of the area, you know. But like this, I absolutely have to do that because I'm isolating these chips otherwise. Like that doesn't feel right to do that. So this over here, I'm confident that this is correct as far as a route goes. The question is, how do we get back into the middle there to get those eight chips? We are very close. We are very, very close. If I went down through here, would that be the end of the world? Yeah, because there's really nowhere to go there, so. What about going through here? Maybe this was the mistake we made. Ah, here we are. The only problem with this is that we're... That seems like a, the sort of thing we should have done earlier. Or, we should have done that after, I, I should have said, this, this whole bit here. So maybe going up and finishing that area isn't so bad... It's just a matter of coming back and doing that whole area over there in the correct way. I gotta say, this is a very well done navigation puzzle. Like, seriously, hats off to you, Jeffrey, on this one. Um, like, the way it all comes together is so brilliant. All right. Get all these. I'm just going to try to get back to that point where we were earlier. And if we can find out what to do from there, this whole thing can be a piece of cake. It's so funny to see this whole thing from World of Thousand Flames turned into this. Okay, we know this is correct. Because we can come back through here later. We, we know that. We know that that leads to where we need to go. Okay. So as long as we go left through here, will this lead to where we need to be? Not quite. This is what's what the problem is right there. That whole area. Because that was where we came and did that. Maybe we need to rethink about how we do that top right section. So, hang on a sec. Where, where was this? It was over here, right? It's this. Because if I go here and I do this, okay, at least I've got a reference point for it now. Hang on, is that possible? Can I actually go, I can do this, do that, 
I can avoid that and go up here. Does that actually help? I think it does, because then I can come down and then make a loop around all this stuff and then go down to the bottom where the exit is. So I think that's, that's doable. It's just a matter of what needs to happen before that as far as all this stuff goes. Because this up here, those, those areas... I think what we need to do is we need to kind of swing around and go back like that. I think that's how it's going to have to go. Let's try that out and see if that works out. I, I can't see doing... I can't really see any other way of making it happen, so... Let's see if that works out. And if it doesn't, then, well, I guess it doesn't, but... Can't say JB didn't try, right? Also, way, way, way after the eruption, is this... This is a reference to um, that level Jeffrey made. Um, it, it was just called After the Eruption, right? It was a level that was on an island, and you had a bunch of fireballs that were in dirt, and you had to clear the dirt but not touch the dirt that touched the fireballs. And Yeah, I think that's called After the Eruption. I remember optimizing it. Alright, so let's go around here. The outer areas of the level are interesting because they're kind of in that awkward spot of being generally accessible. And in some ways, that's what makes them deceiving. Yeah, I can totally go through that. Yeah, there we go. Haha. -ha. Okay. So now we can do this, all these. Try and stop me with your navigation puzzle here. Not gonna happen. Oh, wait a minute. I may have forgotten about the fact that I had to... Oops. I forgot that we had to exit there before coming down. Nah. We, we, we do have this, though. We do have this. That's what I get for celebrating a little too early there, but we, we got it. We totally got this. I think one thing I, I appreciate about this level as well is that there aren't really many uh, recessed wall navigation levels these days. And again, it, I think it all comes down to that fear of people not wanting to frustrate other people. Because in CC1, you know, you had levels like Short Circuit and Pentagram and all that. And a lot of people struggle with those. I mean, in hindsight, they're really not that bad now, you know, for an experienced player. But I think when we first played the game, a lot of those levels tripped us up and... They feel, you know, to someone who wants to design so that people can theoretically solve something on the first try, that feels unfair. But again, I contend that solving something on the first try is not necessarily the best way to design levels. And um, it's totally okay to design levels like this. In fact, if anything, I think we need more levels like this because they really get you to think differently. All right, so... We'll do this. All right, we're in a good place. We're in a good place. We're in a good place. Just get these. We forgot to get those four chips last time, too. Okay, these should be the final sets. Yes! Eat it, level! That was amazing. Seriously, two thumbs up for that level. I, I really loved it. All right, next time we're going to take on Mob Mentality, which looks like it's based on the walls of Polygon. And we'll do that in the next video. So until then, thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the flip side.